Good morning, today is March 25th and we're heading toward the very end of the month and I figured I would go ahead and do my March book haul. I never did a January book haul, I never did a February and I was gonna put them all together but that would have been a really long video. So I'm not gonna do it but I'll show you what I bought in March and while there are still some days left of March and there is a chance that maybe even this Saturday that I would purchase more books in March I can just throw them onto the um, April book haul if if that happens, but I may not buy any more books anyway, so I figure I'll go ahead and show you what I've purchased or, yeah, I think they're all purchased. Yeah, so I'll show you what I purchased during the month of March. So let's go ahead and get into it. So, okay, so let's start with some that I had ordered toward the beginning of the month. So I got three books on Amazon that I was feeling, I was just in the mood to buy books and wasn't really going anywhere. So I went on Amazon and just started scrolling the books and came across these three that were very reasonably priced. I think they were all like six something each. And so I figured I would buy them. So the first one that I picked up is sold on a Monday by Christina McMorris. Um, I don't really know a lot about it. I do know that it's set in the 1930s. And, um, well, is it, a, is it set in the 1930s? Maybe I thought it was. It says the sign, oh, two children for sale. The sign is a last resort. It sits on a farmhouse porch in 1931, but could be found anywhere in an era of bread lines, bank runs, and broken dreams. It could have been written by any uh, any mother facing impossible choices. So, like, it's it's about that kind of thing. But I'm pretty sure that this um, is about a guy who is, a like, he's a reporter now. So, I think it's maybe a dual timeline. I'm not really sure. I don't know why I'm going into all that because I don't really know the answers. But, sold on a Monday. I've been, ever since I read Before We Were Yours... Um, before we are yours, I think that's what it's ever since I read that, I have been desperate to read more kind of like that. So when I came across this, it made me think of that type of situation, and I got it. So then I got the Book Woman of Troublesome Creek by Kim Michelle Richardson. This one, I've seen a lot of little things about this, but never really heard too much about it. And it's set back in um, Kentucky, and it, I don't know, I oh, once again, like the 1930s. So, it's like the very first traveling library. So, it's like a bookmobile way back in the day. So, um, it says, an unputdownable work that holds real cultural significance. So, I'm pretty excited about this one. Then, I got When We Believed in Mermaids by Barbara O'Neill. This one, like I said, I don't really know about a lot about it, but this top little part here says her sister has been dead for 15 years when she sees her on the TV news. So it's more of like a, a current timeline and like mystery-ish. So I'm excited for that one. Then I went to the library bookstore and um, I've already filmed some of this, but Shoot, I forgot one of the books in the other room. I did get some books. They had one room that they had all of their books, like, fill a bag for a dollar on, like, their hardcover books. So I purchased some in that fill a bag for a dollar area, and then I purchased a couple other ones um, just from the regular part of the bookstore. So one of them I'm going to have to run in the other room and get. Or I can just, I'll just put the picture up here. It's Victoria by whoever it says it's from I don't remember so I um started reading that one a little bit and didn't really care for it too much um I don't know what it was about it that I just couldn't get into it so I dnf'd it and I don't know that I'll pick it back up or if I'll unhaul it but that's one of the ones that I purchased I also picked up this one by Neil Gaiman is it a Nancy or a Nancy boys? I'm not sure. But it is, um, I believe it's like a fantasy something. 
yeah, they're like, they are gods. And so it, it seemed interesting. So I got that one. I picked up the husband test by Bettina Cron. It doesn't really look too much like something that I would want to read just by looking at it. And I am guilty of judging books by their covers. But some of the things I read on the back seemed funny. Um, she vowed never to be married. Um, he'd do anything to be a husband. Um, enchanting tale of unlikely love. So she devised her own standards for the perfect man. Now can she resist him? So I don't know. It just seemed funny. The review seemed pretty decent. So I picked this one up. This was in the dollar a bag. Um, so far, the ones I've told you have all been in the fill a bag for a dollar section. So this one, which I kind of have regrets. <laughs> I'll probably never read it. I kind of have regrets of buying it because the more I look at it, I'm like, why would I get this one? It's a Mitchell and Mark B. Village Whodunit, A Touch of Mortality by Anne Granger. It's a like a cozy mystery. And I at the time, I thought that the um, cover looked like cozy, inviting. And then the more I look at it, I'm like, I'm never going to read this. But maybe. You never know. More than likely, it'll be in my next unhaul, but we'll see. Uh, I picked up The Other Woman by Jane Green. I've heard of Jane Green. I don't remember if I've read any of her books, which, I don't know. It just says that it's hilarious, compulsively readable. Um, pluck it off the shelf for any woman who's lost her way in the confusion of modern life will make you squeal with laughter. I won a funny book, so I picked this one up. We'll see how it goes. Um, what else did I get? Um, this one, this was not in the dollar bag, um, but it looked great. I picked up What Alice Forgot by Leanne Moriarty, and I actually already read this one, and it was really good, so that'll be in my wrap-up eventually. But yeah, I picked that one up. I also got If the Creek Don't Rise by Leah Weiss. An impressive debut from a talent to watch. The librarian, or the the girl that works in the library bookstore, she said that she read, I think she said she read this one and it was super good and that she had heard a lot of good things about this one, but um, it's supposed to be set back as well. So this is a brilliant first novel with a deep knowledge of the enduring myths of Appalachia Weiss vividly portrays real people and sorrows. So, she said it was wonderful. So, I went ahead and grabbed this one. Oh, and the last one that was in the fill a bag section is this one, which is The Loveliest Woman in America by B.B. Gaston. A tragic actress, her lost diaries, and her granddaughter's search for home. I believe this is like a memoir or a biography or something along those lines. So it's about a for real life actress who um, I believe she, I believe she ended up committing suicide. It says in 1927 at the age of 23, Rosamond Pinchot or Pinchot or however, was hailed as the loveliest woman in America. At 33, in a sudden, shocking, and highly public act, Rosamond took her own life, setting in motion generations of confusion in the family she left behind. It sounded really interesting. So I got that one. And then the last books that I got this month, I actually just got, what is today? Today is Thursday. So I picked, um, they came in the mail yesterday, actually. But I have already read two of them. I got the whole Darkest Minds series. And um, I've already read The Darkest Minds. I've read Never Fade. And I just realized that if you put them on the shelf like this, it does D-A-R. Oops. R and then K. So that's kind of neat. If it's sitting on the shelf like that. 
just realized that. But anyways, so yeah, I have these four. So that is a total of four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then number 15, ooh, the lighting. Number 15, like I said, is in the other room. It's in my unhaul box. So, cause I just didn't care for it that much. But anyways, so yeah, 15 books in the month of March, possibly more, we'll see. But they'll just go in my April haul. But anyway, so that is what I picked up in the month of March. And I'm hoping to get through quite a bit of them pretty soon. Like I said, I've already gotten through, let's see, how many have I read already of this haul? One, two, where's this one? Three. Okay, so I've only read three, four with Victoria. So, I mean, that's fine. I have room. I have room on my cart. Like, look at all this space right here. It's plenty. We're good. <laughs> so, all right. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.